folks, Kate here, yoga teacher, inspiring a nimble approach to a joyful practice here for day five of 30 days of transitions with my guest teacher, Athena. Uh, today, we're going to be looking at moving from downward facing dog to forward fold. Don't forget to warm up before you try anything in this video. This is not a full practice. We're just going to be breaking down that, tris the, that transition. All right, so go ahead and make your way into your downward facing dog. <clears throat> so we've got a nice strong hug of the belly. We're letting our tailbone reach, 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 reach up and back. And our first transition, we're just gonna walk forward with our feet. We can take as many steps as we need and we can let our knees bend as much as we want them to as well. Now, as you start to get closer, if you're feeling your hamstrings kind of pull, maybe grab your blocks until you make your way to your forward fold. Knees can be as bent or as straight as feels good for you in this particular moment. And then we're going to walk ourselves back. So if your hamstrings are tight, they're not quite ready to reach the floor yet, you can just walk yourself back until you feel like you can comfortably reach the floor. Put one hand down, the other hand down, and then walk yourself back. All right, we're going to do the reverse for transition number two. We're going to walk our hands back towards our feet. Okay. And notice here, as I get closer to my feet, I'm creating a steeper bend in my knees because that's what feels comfortable for me now. You can also grab your black liner all the way up there, so I'm not going to. And then you can just relax here and maybe as you move through your practice, the backs of your knees will open up. And then we can just walk forward back to our double back facing dog. Last transition is a hop or multiple hops, similar with walking. We can take as many steps or as few steps as we want. We do wanna make sure that we've got a nice, strong engagement in the middle. So I'm gonna take a big inhale, big exhale. I'm gonna bend my knees, lift my heels, and I'm just gonna pop up just a little bit, scooch my feet forward. Athena. Let's try that again. So I'm going to bend, bend my knees. Think about like lifting your tailbone up towards the ceiling. Lift and scooch my feet forward. And then maybe I'll do it again until they're even closer to my hands. Or you can always do a hop and a walk and do kind of a combo transition here. All right, so those are some options for moving from downward facing dog to forward fold. Let me know how those worked for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you tomorrow.